The opening scene depicts Claire jogging, lost in thought as she recalls moments with her husband pleading for reconciliation. Flashbacks of her son also haunt her, expressing disappointment about his father's absence. Conversing with her friend Vicky, Claire is urged to finalize her divorce from Garrett and move forward. Vicky hints at Claire's hesitation, frustrated by the nine-month separation. Criticizing Garrett's infidelity, Vicky mentions his affair with his secretary. At home, Claire, Garrett, and Kevin celebrate Kevin's birthday. Claire presents Kevin with a homemade cake, while Kevin receives a gift from Garrett, a custom-built gaming tower with an arctic cooler, crafted meticulously over three weekends. Kevin expresses excitement and gratitude towards his dad for the camping trip suggestion for Labor Day weekend. He eagerly asks if Claire will join them, and Garrett assures her she's welcome. Kevin suggests they go to Mammoth Lakes. As Kevin heads to his room, Garrett mentions an upcoming business trip before Labor Day. Claire inquires about the trip's location and whether the secretary still works there. Garrett dismisses her concerns, but Claire's unease is palpable. Interrupting, Kevin asks if Claire will join them on the camping trip. Claire initially considers it but ultimately declines. Garrett and Kevin reluctantly accept her decision. Alone in the bathroom, Claire breaks down in tears. The next morning, Claire and Kevin face trouble with the garage door while preparing to leave for Kevin's doctor's appointment. Claire struggles to open it, but they receive assistance from Noah, who is introduced by Mr. Sanborn, Claire's neighbor, as his nephew. Noah offers to help fix the issue, identifying it as a problem with the clutch. He suggests going to the hardware store to get a replacement. Initially hesitant due to their appointment, Claire ultimately agrees to let Kevin go with Noah to get the parts. Mr. Sanborn reassures Claire, mentioning that Noah's parents passed away the previous year, making him Noah's primary family support. At the store, Kevin learns from Noah that he's almost 20 years old and originally from San Bernardino. Noah moved to help his great-uncle and plans to finish high school at Monroe High due to time lost from an accident. Meanwhile, Kevin notices a girl named Ollie Callahan, whom he finds attractive but feels too nervous to approach. He asks Noah to pay for the clutch, hoping to avoid an awkward encounter with Ollie. However, Noah encourages Kevin to talk to her, pointing out that she's already seen him. Reluctantly, Kevin approaches Ally and awkwardly interacts with her, with Noah joining the conversation. Meanwhile, a group of boys, including Jason and Forrest, tease Kevin, causing a commotion in the store. Ally intervenes, and they leave the store. Claire thanks Noah for fixing the garage door. She shares a bit of background about Jason, explaining that he had an incident a couple of years ago where he had a severe allergic reaction to a bee sting, causing his throat to swell up and leading to panic and loss of control. She instructs Noah not to mention it to Kevin, and Noah reassures her. Claire invites Noah and Vicky for lunch, along with Kevin. Vicky asks Noah about his uncle's health and how long he'll be in the hospital. Noah explains that it depends on how well the transplant takes. Claire reassures Noah that he's welcome to come over for dinner anytime while his uncle is recovering, emphasizing that she doesn't want him eating alone. Noah mentions that he likes classical literature. Kevin and Garrett head out on a fishing trip. Meanwhile, Noah presents Claire with a first edition book. Claire hesitates, remarking that it must have cost a fortune. Noah reassures her, mentioning that he got it for a bargain at a garage sale. He insists that it would mean a lot to him if she accepted it, especially considering he's been having dinner at her house every night. After some consideration, Claire accepts the gift. Noticing the shoes Claire is wearing, Noah comments on them, suggesting that they're typically worn by women trying to be sexy. Claire feels momentarily uncomfortable with the comment, but Noah quickly apologizes, realizing he overstepped. Claire reassures him that it's okay. Later that night, Claire noticed Noah changing through the window but quickly hid when he turned back. She agreed to go on a double date with Vicky, her boyfriend Ethan, and his friend Benny. Throughout the evening, Benny's ill-mannered behavior made Claire uncomfortable, leading her to decide to leave. Upon returning home, Claire received a call from Noah asking for help with cooking a chicken. They started having dinner together, but tension filled the atmosphere as Noah shamelessly flirted with Claire. She attempted to leave, but Noah stopped her, seducing her into a passionate encounter where they both shed their inhibitions and gave in to their desires. The following morning, filled with regret, 
Claire told Noah that she regretted their night together. This revelation deeply affected Noah, who became consumed by anger and frustration, punching a wall in a burst of rage. Claire apologized, but Noah asked her to leave. When Kevin and Garrett returned, Kevin asked if Garrett could join them for a meal, and Claire agreed. However, when Noah arrived at the house, Claire felt nervous. Garrett asked Claire to reconsider their divorce, and she agreed to think about it. As the school year began, Noah resorted to hacking into Claire's computer, fabricating evidence that she requested him to be in her class. Claire tried to determine how the email had been sent, and Noah suggested she might have been hacked. Noah manipulated Kevin during a shooting practice in the woods, exploiting his father's flaws and fueling Kevin's resentment towards him. This led to Kevin overexerting himself during gym class and suffering a severe allergic reaction, but Noah intervened and saved his life. Claire received flowers, assuming they were from Garrett, only to discover they weren't. Suspecting Noah, she confronted him about hacking her email and turning Kevin against his father. They reached an agreement that Noah would leave her alone if she could leave him alone. Later that night, Claire returned home with Garrett, who kissed her. However, Claire halts his advances, expressing that she's not ready yet. Garrett, acknowledging his intoxication, requests to sleep on the couch. Meanwhile, Noah notices Garrett's car still parked outside. This sight triggers Noah's obsessive thoughts and memories of Claire, particularly their previous sexual encounter. Noah's fixation on Claire intensifies as he grapples with his emotions. The next morning, after Garrett's departure, Noah confronts Claire, accusing her of playing games with him. His outburst unsettles Claire, who is taken aback by his aggression. Kevin witnesses the confrontation, and Claire urges him not to associate with Noah any longer. However, Kevin reacts defensively, asserting that Noah is only his friend and joins Noah in his car. In a heated confrontation, Noah steps in to protect Kevin from a tormentor, which unfortunately leads to the aggressor incurring a serious head injury. Vicky, the assistant principal, uncovers troubling aspects of Noah's history, including a prior expulsion for misconduct. Faced with these facts and Noah's confrontational behavior, Vicky feels compelled to remove him from the institution. As Kevin prepares for a dance with his peer ally, Claire examines a plumbing issue and is shocked to find a menacing note about her and Noah. Noah then confronts her, leading to a physical altercation where Claire firmly sets her boundaries. Later, Claire witnesses Noah in a compromising situation with Kevin's date. The next day, she discovers Noah has left incriminating photos in her classroom, which she quickly disposes of before they are seen by others. The school's head inquires about Claire's recent actions, while Garrett, who has come to collect Kevin, allows him to drive. During their journey, they encounter a mechanical failure but manage to escape with only minor injuries. That evening, Noah resorts to blackmail, threatening Claire with a video of their encounter from that night. He offers to give her the video if she agrees to continue sleeping with him. However, Claire once again refuses to comply with his demands, standing firm against his manipulation and coercion. That night, Claire confronts Noah, demanding the video from him. Frustrated and angry, she questions his actions and expresses her distress over what happened in her classroom. Claire expresses her disbelief at Noah's delusions, rejecting any notion of a future together. Noah, however, sees their relationship differently, viewing the video as proof of their love and a promise of a better life. Feeling overwhelmed and disgusted by Noah's persistence, Claire slaps him and leaves. Claire shows Vicky the pictures and shares her stress, crying. Vicky tries to reassure her, telling her she will not let anything happen to her. Claire enlists Vicky to distract Noah while she breaks into his house to delete the sex tape. However, midway through, Noah spots Vicky driving Claire's car and becomes suspicious, prompting him to return home. Vicky warns Claire that Noah is on his way. Upon entering Noah's house, Claire sees nude pictures of herself plastered all over the walls and on his laptop. Additionally, she finds instructions on tampering with the brakes of both Garrett and Noah's parents' cars. She deletes the pictures, and as she is about to leave, she encounters Mr. Sanborn but runs out and goes home. Claire calls Vicky and tells her what she found. After the conversation ends, they hang up. Noah comes from behind and strikes Vicky. Ethan, Claire's detective friend, provides her with the truth about the car accident involving Noah's family. 
When Claire inquires about the car model involved, she realizes it matches the one she saw on Noah's computer. This revelation raises suspicions in Claire's mind, leading her to believe that Noah may have been involved in the accident in some way. Noah binds and gags Vicky with duct tape and uses a recording of her voice to lure Claire to her house. When Claire arrives, she discovers Vicky dead with her throat slashed and immediately runs out of the house and calls 911 for help. However, before help arrives, Noah appears. He pulled her out of the car. When Claire accuses Noah of killing his parents, he reveals that his mother took her own life after his father cheated on her. In retaliation, Noah admits to cutting his father's car brakes, resulting in his father's death along with his mistress. Noah takes Claire to a barn where he has bound Garrett and Kevin. He shares his deluded belief that killing them will enable him and Claire to start a new life together. When Claire attempts to strike him, Noah overpowers her, rendering her helpless. He then proceeds to pour gasoline around the barn and ignites it, putting all of their lives in jeopardy in his twisted pursuit of his own desires. In a desperate struggle for survival, Claire manages to pierce Noah's eye with Kevin's EpiPen. Enraged, Noah intensifies his attempts to harm them all. Kevin comes and hits him from behind. In a final act of self-defense, Claire pulls a lever, causing an engine to plummet onto Noah, killing him. With Noah defeated, Claire and Kevin rush to aid Garrett, who is wounded but alive. Together, they flee the burning barn as police and paramedics arrive on the scene,